Wall art is now part of the print-on-demand business. The profit margin for selling wall art is even bigger than the one for selling t-shirts. In today's video, I will show you how to do an oil paint design that can be used for wall art. You can apply the same techniques to any photo, but of course, beware of the trademark issue. Now let's start. I will use Photoshop for today's design. The first thing is to open a new document. I am using a document with 300 resolution and RGB color. You can use any document dimensions for today's design. Then I will place the photo I am going to use on my artboard. From the left menu, I will use the object selection tool to select my object out of the image. Using the quick selection tool, I will add any missing parts or remove any extra selected areas. From the layers panel, I will press the mask icon to create a mask around the selected area. I will now use a black paint drip file that I have downloaded from freepick.com. I will copy it and paste it on my Photoshop artboard. While selecting the paint layer, I will apply the wrap effect by clicking on the right click and choosing wrap from the menu. Now while pressing control, I will select the paint drip layer to select it. While it is being selected, I will click on the layer of the player and choose the clipping mask option from the menu below. This will create a clipping mask guided by the paint drip borders. With a white color selected and using the brush tool, I will unhide the areas of the picture that I want. Just make sure to select the clipping mask while doing so. Now I will create a clipping mask around the paint layer and remove the extra areas. I have added a black solid color layer in the background to give me a better contract. Now I will add a black and white layer to create a black and white effect. Now I will invert the effect, and using the pen tool I will select the skin areas of the player to apply the black and white effect.
This will keep the rest of the image in red. Now I will use the camera raw filter to apply some effects on the photo. After that and from the filter menu, I will apply the oil paint effect to create an oily look to the image. Now using the clone stamp tool from the left menu, I will apply a similar t-shirt effect to the bottom part of the paint. This is to match it with the rest of the t-shirt effect. Now I will apply the oil paint effect one more time. On a separate layer and using a soft brush, I will use it to create a red highlight at the back. I will change the mode of the layer to dissolve in order to create that scattered effect at the back. You can add a stroke around the player or add text to create a different look. If you have enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching.